Next up is detente in the 1970s when the two superpowers warmed in their relations and became a little bit closer together. We have to move away from our idea of causes, events and consequences at this point. The best way to describe detente is to talk of it as a narrative going through from the 60s into the 70s. The start point really has to be the Cuban Missile Crisis. Cuba had got us so, so close to a nuclear war and a third world war that would possibly have ended humanity in the world. Um, it meant that the two superpowers realised they needed to do a little bit more to help each other out and to prevent this war from happening. Um, the late 1960s had seen the start of the proxy war in Vietnam with US uh, helping the South Vietnamese against the communist funded and Soviet backed North Vietnamese. Also as well, uh, adding into this early time period, is the fact in 1972, President Nixon visits uh, China. And again, it's an effort to kind of get America and China a little bit closer together and maybe move China away from uh, the Soviet Union and, and split up these two communist allies. So then if we're really moving into the, the, the meat of detente, we're talking about Nixon visiting Moscow not long after his uh, visit to China, and he's talking to Brezhnev and showing that he's willing to work with Brezhnev. This helps to lead to the conclusion of the SALT-1 talks in 1972, SALT being strategic arms limitation talks. The main point of these was all about reducing the anti-ballistic missile uh, systems that, that the two nations were allowed as a way of preventing uh, or destroying ICBM missiles. Next up, we then have another visit of President Nixon to Moscow, this time in 1974. Again, it wasn't exactly a, a friendly meeting, but it showed that the two leaders could work together and that they were willing to kind of try and reduce tensions throughout the world. Another important step, if we're talking about the issues that happened in Detente, is the Apollo-Soyuz space link-up in 1975, where you had the docking of the US Apollo spacecraft with the Soviet Soyuz spacecraft. There was a handshake in space, and again, it showed that the two sides could work alongside each other and could coexist. One of the really, really important parts of Detente is to talk about the Helsinki Agreements in 1975. These were Nixon and Brezhnev's agreements to work together and really to talk about the three baskets that the signatories decided were the big international issues. Security, cooperation and human rights. Really important to understand those three baskets of the Helsinki Agreement. Security, cooperation and human rights. Superpower relations had improved a little bit post Helsinki, however, there, in 1977 there was the change of a new US president in Jimmy Carter. That changed things a little bit. Um, the last point really to talk about is that in 1974 there was the discussion that started of the SALT II talks, developing further upon SALT I. The treaty was eventually signed in June of 1979, however, six months later, the, the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, and this really showed that actually all the positive talk from the, the decade of detente was perhaps not really being shown through in the Soviet actions. The US Senate refused to ratify the SALT II Treaty, and really this was the starting point of the second Cold War in the 1980s.